you to know again about the flowers of another fantastic super herb, super plant, super food, and that's wild chaga. That's the gnarly growth on birch trees in the far north. Blackish brown in color, yellow ochre on the inside. Fantastic, super fantastic, a super food of super foods. This is the substance that the primitive Siberians called the gift of God, it really is, and that the Chinese called the king of all herbs. I've got the book on it, the original and only uh, book on the medicinal properties of wild chaga, the cures in the forest, as well as the case histories and other forest cures, such as large bark, tamarack bark, rose hips, birch bark itself, and the video that talks about wild berries, the DVD, as well as the chaga hunting. Now chaga is a very important natural medicine in the area of immune balance. It is a potent means to put the immune system in a state of high power or high alert and I mentioned balance. Now this is why chaga is so ideal for keeping people healthy so they don't get sick, for the prevention of major diseases like cancer or arthritis, for the prevention of autoimmune disorders, and even for their treatment. In that regard, the primitive Siberians, it was discovered in the 1900s, early in the century, were immune from many of the diseases that afflict us today. Largely they were immune from arthritis, they had no autoimmune disorders, and they had no cancer. Cancer was unknown in those districts where the people consumed chaga on a daily basis, in their tea, in their soup, in their stew, as a food. It's a food, and that's how we should think of it. Now, this led Russian investigators to, in, to check its powers in cancer itself, and also in Eastern Europe. For example, Polish uh, researchers found that when they fed chaga to cancer cells, that the chaga caused the cell nucleus to be eaten out. Chaga ate the cell nucleus, it enucleated the cancer cell and rendered it dead. This, according to my book, the science that's in there, and uh, personal case histories, as well as uh, work that's being done in Russia, is definitely effective against cancer. All kinds of cancers, with some special power in brain cancers, in renal, lung, stomach, colon, and in pelvic uh, uh, cancers. But all types of carcinoma, ladies and gentlemen, we should all be taking chaga for prevention and for treatment. Chaga black would be a favorite of mine for that purpose, chaga all strength drink, and even the capsules very convenient uh, for this situation. For the autoimmune conditions, you're not going to find anything superior to chaga. Case history, a woman was damaged by a, a flu vaccine, lovely lady, knocked her out, she's a nurse, knocked her down, and the, 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 nothing working. The thing that worked was taking Chaga Max capsules, that combination of wild chaga and uh, wild oregano, which is this here. So many different forms of chaga, but the most important thing is to understand the power of the infusion of chaga, which is the tea, which is fantastic, I mentioned, for cancer, for the immune system, for inflammation, for stamina, for strength. One of the big features of chaga is great prowess, physical power, both in the athletic world and in the mental, intellectual world. That you can do more. That's how I found out about chaga. I was burnt out. I started drinking the chaga. I was the first one really to make a pulverized, finely pulverized chaga tea with birch bark. I drank it. I popped up at four in the morning looking for things to do. I knew my burnout was going to be over. I knew at that minute that uh, I could do much more. And so I've been uh, uh, traveling, writing, editing like a, like a madman, thanks to the chaga. And you will get that too. Just, uh, the key is daily use. So the strength and the stamina, you get that out of the tea, get out of the capsules, you get it out of the chaga chunks, all the different forms of chaga. However, there's a, such a thing as raw chaga, which are the capsules, the drops, the chaga chunks, even the tea if you throw it in a smoothie. Raw chaga we found to be uh, infinitely valuable for inf severe inflammatory disorders. For instance, ankylosing spondylitis, inflammation of the nerves like sciatica, peripheral neuropathy, 
case history. I had a woman throw away her walker uh, on a show. I got another case of a very bad case of sciatica uh, that was uh, recovered using raw chalk. And uh, furthermore, a case of ruptured intervertebral disc where the raw forms of chaga, along with the birch bark extract, I'll name them, induced a regeneration, 95% healing that disallowed any surgery. And that was forms like this, the chaga max capsules, the chaga powered drops, the betcha powered drops, the birch, birch bark drops. These are raw, chaga chunks are raw. Uh, and the tea itself, again, in a smoothie, is raw. So for any of these neurological conditions, Alzheimer's, Lou Gehrig's, multiple sclerosis, we should take it in these raw forms, especially if it's, if it's combined with the wild oregano, and that would be the drops and the capsules. Chaga, we have found by uh, incidental history, it is effective for prostate disorders. Case history, a guy had a PSA of 50 in the United States, they call, they call that level 50, which is normal as one. He went from 50 to under one, in other words, completely normal, taking the capsules and the drops. Case history uh, of uh, an individual who has an eczema and psoriasis. One, a child with severe eczema, so again, anti-inflammatory. Took the chaga cream, which is a raw cream, and this dryness, this eczematous lesion was eliminated with just the cream. You know, a young child not going to take much more. Uh, also, the issue of dryness of the hands and chapping and, and, and splits at the tips of the fingers. Chaga cream, the chaga body cream, and the chaga sublingual drops, even the capsules. Case history, we had a woman who had, uh, in a more severe situation, psoriasis all over her scalp and forehead, in which she used the, the chaga, the drops, the strength drink also, and the super strength oregano oil, and eliminated her psoriasis. Another individual in London, just using the drops alone, uh, got a 90% reduction in his whole body psoriasis. So, so moral of the story is that there's infinite uh, evidence, historically, in the studies, and in the case histories of the value of chaga as a healing medicine that heals trees. And so if you have conditions that are uh, difficult,